This is Xane Anderson, and welcome to the Principal Podcast today. Today, I'm thrilled to have Dr. Corey Christensen with us on the show. Yeah. You know, I, I met Dr. Corey on X, uh, the news app X, and I got to tell you, his posts were so inspirational, so inspiring, so positive that I thought I need to just figure out how to. He was, and he actually reached out to me and was was more positive than me. But I'm learning from him. I'm thrilled to have him here on the show. Dr. Corey, Corey, thank you for being yeah, on thank the show you. with us today. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So one of the things, you know, you're Corey, you're a dad, uh, you're a physical therapist. You you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about what you do. Yeah, so I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I actually specialize in outpatient orthopedics and sports medicine. So it's a very very dynamic sort of kind of a setting where you get to see all sorts of people. I I tell everybody that I see patients from you know the age of five all the way to 270 you know it's just like I'll see them all and we see so many different things but I, I love what I do I mean I've been a physical therapist for 11 years worked for a great organization here based out of Idaho that has really kind of just shaped my mindset about what it is to be a, a therapist but also to be a good human being and a, kind of just a leader but um I love, like I said, I've been working with this for a long time. The best part about my job is that every day brings new challenges and new excitement. I get to help people like achieve meaningful and lifelong goals. Some things that they have lost uh, or not able to do, they kind of just like, hey, I want to be able to go throw a ball with my kid again. I want to be able to go on a walk or camping. And they, they allow me that opportunity just to help them go from where they are to where they want to be. And it's just, it's a phenomenal thing. But as well, like you said, I'm a father of two children. Uh, my daughter just turned 17 yesterday, which was phenomenal. And then I have a son that's 15 years old. So they definitely keep me on my toes, but they're great. One, one of the things that impresses me about you, Corey, and one of the things I wanted to ask you about is here you're in this, in this profession where you get to help people every single day where you get to help them. And, and one of the things that occurred to me is you're not just helping them physically get better. You're helping them mentally get better. And for a lot of our audience who are parents or dads, that is such an important piece. Like, how do we how do we help people mentally, positively have a good mindset and and uh and move forward? For some people who have been through some maybe kind of traumatic things where they've uh where they need some therapy. And how can we apply that to to being a good dad? Uh, that's a, that is a great question. You know, most of the time is a when I'm talking to people and they just kind of have the frustration that they're just like, Hey man, I just, I don't know. This is what I want to do. And I feel like life's overwhelming. And this is like I said, that when they have a, a physical ailment, you start to see a lot of these mindset tricks coming out and these like self limiting beliefs. And I realized early on, I was like, I got to be able to start addressing some of the things up here to help the things over here, you know? And one of the best things that I do is just to help them get super clear about what it is that they want. You know, they say, well, they come in and they're like, hey, I've got a shoulder and it hurts. And they're like, okay, well, why are you here? Like, like, tell me why you're here. It's like, oh, it's my shoulder hurts. No, that's what's going on. But what is it that you're here for, right? Mm. Oh, I want to get back to throwing ball with my son. He's like, now that's our why. Now we got the why. Now we can start to figure out what we need to do from there. And we can just dissect every step of the path through them. You know, my job as a physical therapist is to give them the tools and the resource to do it, but to also coach them to say that you are the one that has the power to do this. It's like, it's not anything that I'm going to do. It's all what you're able to do and get their minds focusing on that recovery. What can I do today to move the ball forward and just dosing it gradually forward? Now, a lot of those people have come in, our parents, you know, especially dads, you know, and I feel for the dads when they come in, they're like, dude, I can't work because my shoulders hurt. Like not only is that affecting their job, but it's affecting like their identity. I was like, I'm a father. I'm the provider. I got to do this, you know, and it really weighs on them. So we get super clear about like, why is it important? And then we start to touch on that emotional aspect and dive deep into the recovery session. Like how is this exercise going to impact your ability to do this and this, but keeping it, always clear in the forefront of their mind, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? And not letting those doubts, those frustrations come forth that I'm able to see like, 
the exponential amount of growth in people. And it's, it's life changing because then they realize my condition is affected mostly here. And then I can start to adapt it here. So getting their minds clear about their vision, the direction, why they need to do it, and then just keeping them on track with that. It sounds like the mental piece is just as important as the physical piece. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Absolutely. I, I, I tell people that all the time. It's like the best thing about my job is like, you're going to get out of this what you put into this. Like I can bring you the tools, the resources, and the knowledge. That's what I went to school for. But it's you who is actually going to make this change, right? When you want it enough that you believe that you can have it, then that's where we're going to see that progress. Because when people know that, hey, I can do this or, man, I really want to achieve this goal. I mean, you'll, you'll stop at nothing to achieve it. You got to have that burning passion inside you. And that's my job. I stoke that passion and I keep that mental aspect that I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It may not always be a linear progression. There might be ebbs and flows, but overall the progress is going to get better and that we don't compare one day to the next. Like we want to look at trends. We want to look at how the process is, but your mental, if you don't believe it's going to work, man, it's just, it's not. So, so, so powerful there, Corey. Um, you know, it reminds me, so I actually had to have physical therapy on my knee recently. I think we discussed that a little before the show. And um, I remember I was, I was uh, jogging on this treadmill and there was a therapist, a great therapist next to me. And, and as I was running, he said, Hey, you're, I can tell you're trying not to land on that knee hard. You're kind of favoring it. He goes, I want you to know mentally, like your leg can handle it. You need to be able to like, like you need, you, you can handle it. So I had kind of been favoring my leg a little bit, trying not to. And, and he said, when you're, when you're jogging, of course you wanted me to do it safe. And I use a brace sometimes just because I'm still going through the therapy process, but that him just saying that to me, you know, mentally you, your leg is strong enough to handle your weight when you're running. And, and I, I realized that mental piece for me and, and the confidence that it gave me because there was somebody skilled like yourself telling me that made it made a huge difference, I think. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually still recovering, but it's, it's made a difference. Like, Hey, I, I've got this. And so that mental piece, as you say, um, is, is super valuable. And I can imagine that you being a dad, teenagers, being able to, to instill that same kind of confidence, that same positive mental mindset. So, you know what, you know, and we know life's messy, but you've got this. I, I think yeah. that's probably such a, you know, we, you can do this. We, we've got this together. And I, um, I think that's a great thing to learn as a dad, to have those experiences where you can say, Hey, you've got this and have them be able to train them mindset wise. Right. I mean, I, I hear it quite often from my kids, you know, they can, nobody likes school. You know, I hear this all the time. They're like, Oh, today's going to be a tough day at school. I'm like, well, why is that? You know? well, I've got this test or I've got this situation. And I'm like, well, you've been preparing for this. Like I've seen you study for this. I've seen you do the legwork. I've seen you move, like do what you're supposed to, to prepare yourself. So why are we anticipating that to be heavy or to that to be hard? And like, I help try to help my kids understand like, you know, a lot of those concerns, a lot of those fears and anxieties that you're that you're feeling, they're just your your projections of what could happen, but they're not really based on anything that's a solid fact. You know, it's like if you've done the work and if you you look back on your past efforts, like you you're getting good grades, you're doing great, you've got this teacher, you know, appraises how efficient you are at work, and like just keep doing what you're doing don't let those fears come into it. So I, it's, it's been very helpful as a dad to kind of learn this uh, mindset stuff and this coaching with the patients, because I see it all the time with my kids and just uh, people in general. It's like, we, we tend to tend to just like make so much more out of life and so much more out of situations that they should be. But if we focus on like why we're doing something the pursuit of joy, like, Hey, I want to do this because it makes me happy. And along the process, I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling fulfilled. When life can be beautiful. It can be wonderful. It doesn't have to be this heavy burden that people want it to be like, it's, it can be glorious. It can be beautiful. It can be whatever you want. And it's not, I'm not just saying, Oh, it's like rainbows and sunshines. Of course, there's going to be hard days and, and days that we kind of have 
setbacks, but it's what we do up here and how we pre uh, present and prepare ourselves that makes those days so much easier to go through. Whether you're a dad, whether you're a kid, or whether you're a patient in physical therapy, it's all the same. That's so profound. Thank you. You know, I like how you did that too. You, you tried to change their thinking. You know, they say uh, thoughts are kind of what are at the base level. They cause the feelings and feelings cause our actions. So if we can really go down to those thoughts and say, hey, what are, is it really true that this one thing, you know, I, you reminded me of something, you know, Stephen Covey, who wrote the seven habits of highly effective people. He got on a train. Love that book. Yeah. He got on this train and these kids come in at this dad, and his kids come in and the kids, it's kind of a peaceful Sunday morning on this train in New York, I think. And, and if I, hopefully I'm saying this, the story, right. But the kids come in, they're starting to be disruptive and they're kind of bugging people and, and making a lot of noise and ruckus and kind of just bugging people. And Stephen Covey found himself getting kind of irritated. And he said, you know, he, he, he went up to the dad and said, Hey, can you, can you control your kids more, please? Can you control them? And the, and the dad said something like this. He said, you know, well, yeah, I'm so sorry. You know, their, their mom just passed away and I kind of just didn't know what to do and see his, his thoughts immediately. He, he changed from being irritated to feeling completely sorry for this guy. And so you can see like his thoughts about, Hey, this, this man should control his kids because otherwise he's a bad dad. That was causing the irritation. That was the thought. But when he found out the real truth, which was, Hey, this man's had a, probably one of the hardest days of his life. It changed his feeling from one of mm -hmm. irritation to one of, um, you know, compassion. And I think that's kind of what you just told me there too, when you were talking about your kids going to school, you know, if you can change the underlying thought, it can change the feeling Mm -hmm. And we can, we're, we can actually lead our feelings with what we're thinking. It takes a little work sometimes. Um, and it's not to yeah. say, we don't go in and say, Hey, there's no weeds in the garden. We have to say, Hey, there are weeds, but we can, we can pull them. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I agree wholly that because my kids, they, they kind of get annoyed with me when I talk about this so much because, but the more that you hear about it, the more you understand it. It's like everything, everything that we talk about, like it all comes down to a, a basic system of your thoughts. Like your thoughts are, are the very foundational of everything. The thought that you keep on believing becomes a belief. Now, a belief pattern will influence your, uh, you know, like your, the psychology or kind of like the reasons behind why you do something, which will influence your actions. So we say, hey, we got beliefs that it, thoughts that turn into beliefs, beliefs that turn into actions. And then the actions will turn into habits and habits generate your destiny or your the result of what you're going to do. So we can trace it all the way back down to everything that you want to accomplish in life stems from the thought process that you take through. Where your mind is going, where the energy is flowing, what you believe to happen generates and starts to perpetuate out into the material world. And everything that we have happening around us, especially when it comes to the shoulders, like say for PT, you're like, if my shoulder is hurting, well, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Well, let's start with the thought. It can get better. It's going to get better. And I'm going to keep believe, doing that. Then that belief takes root. Okay, now I believe it can get better. Now I'm going to start to do the actions to get it better. And then the actions will build a habit that it continues through a lifetime. Hey, I worked out. My shoulder felt better. I'm going to continue to work out, get stronger, and yada, yada, and so on and so on. But in personal that's, that's life, that's such a different thought process than, oh, I hurt my shoulder and woe is me and poor me. I'll never be the same. I'll never right. recover. The, I just heard you saying a bunch of positive thoughts, but the thoughts of, hey, I, you know, this is, hey, why did this have to happen to me? And I'm a victim and everything else, instead of saying, hey, I, I've got this, are, are different. I didn't mean to cut you off, Corey, but uh, no, you're, you're right. I hear that all the time, too. People are like, this sucks. You know, I was in a car accident. This person rammed into me. This, I didn't choose this. I didn't want this. And like, right. But where are we now? Like, this is where we're at now. What can we, we can't go into the past. We can't change that car accident, but we can do everything from this moment moving forward to make this. But as long as we're stuck in the past, we're never going to get anywhere. It's like, I, it's, I tell the people who keep looking at it, it's like, I want you to take a big breath and then never breathe again, right? Because that's holding on to the past. That's just the same thing. You're so afraid of letting go or you're so fixated on that past that you can't move forward or you can't take that new breath. Eventually you start to have panic and worry and doubt and all that other stuff comes into place. But if you can just let it go, 
and move forward and say, from today on, I can control this and this and this, then we can start to move them into our, a more positive direction and more positive life. Love that. Things we can't control, things we can control, right? And let's <laughs> exactly. focus on what we can. I can't control my past. Can't even take back what I said two seconds ago. I mean, it's it's there. It's like it's it's inflexible. But what but I can do is is choose to have a good attitude about my past and then choose to do everything I can about the things I can't control. What a what a great lesson. Your your children are lucky to have you, Corey, as a as a dad who can teach them those principles. Good. Well, thank you. I tell I, I'm I'm actually the lucky one. They they get all the dad jokes, and I get all the blessings of them being my kids. So. <laughs> what a good dad! That's a great dad. Oh man! So let me ask you this, Corey: How can people get a hold of you? I mean, if people want to, you're infectiously positive. You're you've got some great mindset things. We've talked about this. How can people get a hold of you? Yeah, and I'm, I'm always willing and excited to meet new people. You can always find me on uh, Twitter. It's uh, at Doctor. Corey C, that's my handle name, or you can reach out to me uh, through email, Christensen at gmail, or even find my website, uh, com. Any one of those ways you can meet up with me and be able to talk a little bit more. I'd love to meet you. That's awesome. Dr. Corey, so, so what an honor to have you on the, the show today. Thank you for sharing your, your wisdom about mindset and positivity and thoughts and attitude. Um, is there anything else, if there was one thing else you could, you could tell our audience, um, what would you tell them? Uh, I would just tell everybody like, you know what? Time is precious. You know, things every day is immensely important that we don't even know. Um, we talked about being a father, you know, um, my father was taken from me well before I was even remotely ready to have that happen. And there are things I wish I could have said to him maybe one more hug, one more, I love you, uh, things that I kind of hold on to that I felt like I did, uh, poorly as a child that I wish I could have just talked to him about. So, um, don't live any day with regret, you know, every day is important. So when you have an impression to talk to somebody, to express somebody, do it ever since that day, he, when he passed away, I, anytime I feel an impression to tell somebody something, I just do it because you just never know and we life's too wonderful too precious to live with regret so it's every day and never don't leave anything unsaid wow that's super profound thank you so much you know and it sounds like you had a great dad have a great dad um yeah yeah he was definitely the best just adding to that you know my i heard somebody say you know your children too they're you know whether it's uh, losing your father like you did, which I, um, I'm so sorry for your loss. And at the same time, yeah. you're really being such a great example to other people. I heard somebody say, you know, your children will, there won't, might be a time where they ask you to play for the last time. They're not going to be an alarm clock that says, Hey, you know, this is the last time or the last time my dad wants me, you know, wants to go pl- throw the ball with them or, or the last time uh, that I want to, you know, you're, you're not going to have an alarm clock that says, Hey, this is the last time, you know, my, mm-hmm. my, my, my own father is sick right now. And, and he used to like to hike a mountain near where we live. And, and there wasn't an alarm clock that said, Hey, this is the last time you're going to hike that mountain with my dad. I don't think he'll, he can hike that mountain right now. Mm-hmm. And there was never an alarm clock that said, Hey, that's the last time, you know? So yeah, your advice is so, uh, um, meaningful. Yeah. I appreciate that very much. Dr. Corey, Corey, thank you for being on the, on the show with us today. Um, please reach out, feel free to reach out to Corey. If you want to have some great positivity, follow Dr. Corey, Dr. Corey Christensen on X. I do. And I think it's a great inspiration for me. Thank you, Dr. Corey, for being on the show today. Thank you very much. 